सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू ऑल यू बोर्ड्स एग्री कोचिंग वेलकम टू टूडेज प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन ऑफ रिमेनिंग पास्ट ईयर पेपर दैट इज द ईयर ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू तो दो हजार बाईस के हमने पहले ही देखे हम वॉच क्वेश्चन थर्टी क्वेश्चन इन लास्ट क्लास वी फिनिश दो क्वेश्चन नाउ वी आर लेफ्ट विथ रिमेनिंग थर्टी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द ईयर ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू लेट्स ट्राई टू सॉल्व दम ओके द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन डिरेक्टली विल जम्प ऑन आपको पता ही है कि हम क्वेश्चन कैसे सॉल्व करते We take every question. We try to find out the answers of this question. I read your answers and then I try to I try to give you the exact answers of these particular questions. एक बार शुरू करते हैं. Let's discuss. For all the students who feel that uh, sir, will you take the classes in English or will you take it in Hindi? Please take it in English. I am telling you again and again. I will take it bilingually. I will take it in English also. I will take it in Hindi also. So don't worry. Just stay in the class today. We are. going to cover most important questions which came in the year of 2022 and there we will finish 3 years of past year papers of IBPS AFO examination let's start our discussion abhi jo hum baat kar rahe hain pehla question hai the sum of lignin and polysaccharides that are not digested by endogenous secretion of digestive tract is what okay so overall just a minute Yeah. So the question here, as I tell you all, it is what the sum of lignin and polysaccharides that are not digested by endogenous secretion. So what are those components of your food which are not digested by your body, but they help in the digestion of other components which are there in your food? Are those lipids? No. Are those polysaccharides? No. Are those starch? No. starch related to your carbohydrates or maybe your complex carbohydrates or maybe your sugars amides no not essentially amides are actually related to your protein synthesis in the body so brinda has given the answer yes crude fiber is the correct answer brinda very good brinda has been very very consistent with all our classes okay and consistency is one of the important pillars to clear any competitive exam i'll give you some of the qualities in our upcoming classes that what are essential qualities which a dedicated aspirant should have when and such qualities if you try to absorb or maybe try to bend your personality around such qualities i guarantee you one time or other today tomorrow or maybe one day you will clear the exam for sure okay consistency why because in some sections we are very very weak in some sections we are very very strong but consistent person what he has he has patience to work on the weaker sections and this is why consistency is required that every day you do the practice every day you study okay so now here we are looking at our question crude fibers is the answer what is crude fiber it is nothing but the residue part of the plant food which is left after extraction of dilute acids which are followed by dilute alkalis so here when we are talking about any food product you consider and its components so dietary part you either consider protein you either considered carbohydrates you either consider vitamins now these all things we are definitely if we are getting from the source of vegetarian source that means plant source so in this plant source for example take the example of pea pea it is a proteinous plant so it gives protein to the body body but in pea when you are looking at it has 14 to 18% of protein remaining part is what crude fiber then carbohydrates let's take example of rice and wheat if carbs are present more than 60 70% then some part would be of course fiber in wheat fiber is there in rice also some fiber is there okay now then comes vitamin again comes leafy vegetables like green leafy vegetables spinach okay palak so all these are having important vitamins also but at the same time along with that it is also having this crude fiber also crude fiber is major of quantity of indigestible cellulose cellulose is fiber material indigestible cannot be digested but which helps in the digestion of other components of our diet or food second question it comes it consists of series of hinged or fixed hammers okay attached to a shaft so a shaft has been attached to the multiple hammers which rotates at high speed 
peripheral speed is up to 100 meters per second and such devices are used primarily for hard and brittle materials such as pepper, sugar, dried milk, veget dried vegetables and spices. So generally, aisi equipment aapne ghar mein dekhi hogi. Hammers ko use kiya jata hai to crush your spices. So, which is this equipment type all about? Hammer type, tooth spike type, drum type thresher, syndicate type thresher and none of the above. So, give your answers. Saket is saying one. So, Saket is saying hammer type. So, in our household, your mother, your granny or maybe in the kitchens, you would have used different hammer type. Different hammer type in these equipments. These hammer type equipments are used to crush your various food components like pepper, sugar, most importantly condiments and spices. Tooth spike, no Brinda, that is wrong here. See, tooth spike cannot be it. Hammer type, see here. Have you seen hammer type? A simple hammer type equipment could be So, have you seen such equipment which is there in villages? So, one woman holds the bar to crush the grains or maybe other spices, chilies to crush them and other women also holds a other rod. So, they alternately beat down this hammer type movement they do and they try to crush different condiments and spices. Similar way, this is the modern hammer type machine which is used for breaking down the spices. So, here hammer type will be the answer. Next, specialized system which is produced from the leaf axle at the crown of the plant and prostrate horizontally is known as what? Is it sucker? Is it tuber? Is it runner? Is it offset or is it rhizome? So, what is it saying? Let's try to look it by diagram. This is our land. This is our roots. This is our plant. Okay. Now, specialized system which produced from the leaf axle. Leaf axle in the sense, of course, from here or maybe from here. Any leaf part or from the axial parts of the branch. That means, from between the branches, okay. If it grows from the leaf axle at the crown of the plant and prostates, that means grows horizontally. If it grows horizontally, then such type of plant which horizontally grows on the ground, that would be called as runner. That would be called as runner. So, therefore, here the answer is runner. So, look at it. Crown is nothing but exactly the part which is at the base of the ground of the plant. So, suppose this is your ground then the base part of the plant that would be called as crown. Now, from the crown various branches also come out. Now, between these branches axial nodes are there. From these nodes you could see a horizontal development of branch takes place and this horizontal branch development is nothing but your runner. Okay. So, this is how runner is different from your sucker. Then what is sucker? Can anybody tell what is sucker? In the comment section write down what sucker means. So, tuber, as we all know, tuber crops are there which grow under the ground. Offset is nothing but again here a branch grows horizontally only, but it again grows into the ground and a new plant grows here. Okay, so that is offset. That means a new plant grows through a horizontal shoot development. And then rhizome is nothing but these are also underground developments. Tell me what in the comment section what does sucker means. Next. Power generated in engine cylinder and received by the piston without frictional losses is associated with what type of engine? So, when power is generated in the engine, where engine is cylindrical and here received by the friction which without frictional losses. So, it, whatever power is created that is created and received by the piston without any frictional losses, which type of power is associated in this? So, the power which is associated exactly here the comment section Madhvi is very very right. Actually the answer is IHP. What do you mean by IHP? It is nothing but your indicated horsepower. It is power which is formed by combustion chamber. Whereas, brake horsepower is nothing but a usable power at the engine's crankshaft. So, when we talk about IC engine, okay, when we talk about IC engine, Whatever combustion chamber is there, combustion chamber is that chamber in which fuel is there and here the piston heats, okay, 
piston heats and the fuel whatever is there because of the piston activity it gets combusted that means it burns up so from such combustion engine here the piston movement it is frictionless so here oiling and all is done in such a way that it is frictionless so therefore whatever power is generated from such from such combustion chamber that would be called as indicated horsepower ihp i hope that i am clear yes sakit is also clear uh, correct and madhvi is also correct consider the following statement and choose the incorrect statement regarding sexual reproduction now sexual reproduction in plants we are talking about so it is all related to seeds pollination seeds germination etc etc propagated through seeds is it is correct pollen gets transferred from stigma the male gametes from the pollen grains correct and released with the egg in the female gametes that's a correct pollen contains the male gametes exactly that is also correct it helps in evolution of species yes that is also correct and all are correct or none is incorrect so try to understand here the answer is all the four statements are correct therefore our answer would be fifth number okay our answer should be fifth po uh, sexual reproduction when you are looking in the plants pollen grains uh, this particular sexual reproduction takes place because of the propagation of seeds okay then second thing is pollen grains are transferred from your anther to stigma anther is a male reproductive part stigma is your female reproductive part so pollen grains are transferred from anther to stigma okay so uh, here try to understand this is your sexual reproduction in which pollen grains transfer from your uh, anther to stigma now in this pollination when we are talking about this pollination is of multiple types so single pollen uh, are single pollination then cross pollination okay so self pollination how much pollination types are there self pollination cross pollination okay and then it's cross self or combined okay cross self or combined so when we talk about self pollination it is nothing but when the flowers are male flower and female flower or maybe the anther and stigma belong to the flowers which are on the same plant that is called as self pollination where the transfer of pollen grains is happening from anther and stigma but the flowers are from only single plant cross pollination is nothing but where the transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma is occurring on two different individual distinct plants okay and then cross self or combined pollination is nothing but where two plants whatever are there those are very very different and the flowers are also very very different right okay you get the point in self pollination plant is same flower also same in cross pollination plant different but flowers could be same uh, and flowers also different and in cross pollination everything would be different in this way three types are there self and cross okay so i hope you got the idea uh then next thing was pollen grains contains male gametes yes the male gametes from are into pollen grains pollen grains whatever are there they go into the stigma from the pole uh, from the uh, your stigma it reaches to the ovary after reaching to ovary your male gametes and female gametes they combine with each other this process is called as fertilize uh, this process is called as fertilization this process is called as fertilization and fertilization zygote is formed by the union of male and female gametes so your egg is there your egg then converts into fruit okay so your egg then converts into fruit in your fruit seed is there from this seed again the germination i hope you get it let's move forward the disease is most severe during cool weather when heavy dews are present the infection of virus due to which plant leaves converted into pale yellow name this disease now when we are talking about disease where green color or dark green color of your plant is converted into pale yellow color that is called as what it is called it is called as degreening what is necrosis necrosis is nothing but the death of tissue or plant cells so necrosis is never related to your color of your plants it is actually death or rotting of your plant parts mottling and your blight see wilt is nothing but drying of your parts of the plant blight or maybe mottling when we are uh, calling about these are not related to your coloration when blight spot disease when we are talking about 
this is again a disease which is related to insect now ring uh, when we are talking about our changing in the discoloration this is your ring spot disease so here you could see on a leaf which is dark green in color here circled ring shaped spots start to develop now these spots are there these are having distinctively different colors or slash light green color because of this light green color or yellowish green color yellowish green color the dark green color of the plant is lost and this is called as ring spot disease brinda mottling brinda no mottling is not the answer mottling is not the answer the question was related to your normal color okay see here plant leaves whatever color is there that turns into pale yellow and the infection is viral so viral infection when we are looking at it is neither related to mottling neither related to your blight it is related to your ring spot ring spot is occurred because of the virus next in a combined harvester the ratio of real peripheral speed to the forward speed should normally be at the range of what now this is again a data related question and most importantly it is related to mechanization it is related to mechanization we are talking about a combined harvester device okay so a very important and huge device which looks after complete harvesting threshing such activities in the different extensive agricultural practices when we are talking about combined harvester what is the ratio of real peripheral speed real peripheral in the sense whatever real it has in front of it that peripheral speed and its forward speed so the moment of the combined harvester and its rotating drum that ratio has been asked and the answer here i think most of the students will not be knowing the answer of this question this was a difficult question now when you are at such difficult question if you have read it agar aapne ye question sahi mein padha hai to aapko ek cheez karni chahiye ki aapko aise facts ko yaad rakhna chahiye agar aapko aise facts yaad nahi hai if you are not able to remember such facts you can move forward there is nothing harm to move forward and leave a particular question the answer here is 1.25 to 1.50 so this is your real peripheral speed uh, divided by your combined harvester speed so when you compare the speeds of harvester and your rotator that's where the ratio comes 1.25 to 1.50 this gives you a good amount of harvesting of the crops okay everybody got it let's move forward it is a pest when it is in larva feeding on the crops and it grows in the size till it pupates and remains dormant from august till the end of may which type of insect are we talking about so it is a pest when it is a larva so try to understand when it is a larva it is like a insect it is a pest that means it eats up your crop feeding it feeds on the crop and grows till the size as it pupates and then remains dormant from august till may now which insect are we talking about is it red hairy caterpillar castor semilupar tobacco caterpillar bihar hairy caterpillar or leaf hopper so when we are talking about such insects or maybe such pests you have to have certain information so most of the caterpillars when we are talking about these are dormants for dormant for certain period so you take different examples of varieties of caterpillar they are dormant for certain months and they are active for certain months so here our answer would be red hairy caterpillar so this is the caterpillar which we are talking about it has spikes on the body okay these caterpillars are responsible for destruction of various crops most importantly cotton crop it is very very destructive for cotton crop as well as other uh, leafy crops also but it is only active rest of the months from august till may because it is dormant it does not act or come outside from august till may this is a specific uh, caterpillar which we are talking about next question the fungus which causes soft rot and leakage of juices from fruits such as tomato sweet potato etc it's called as what so this is a fungus species which when results into fungal infection 
it causes soft rot soft rot in the sense it will cause a hole in a fruit it will cause a small spot in which rotting will start in the root and from that hole leakage of the juices will start of different fruits or vegetables now is this fungus irvinia kratovora rhizopus specialis e chrysanthemy e areola and uh, plasmodophora viticola and the answer here is rhizopus specialis and this is our rhizopus specialis which we are talking about okay so generally rhizopus specialis is used uh, uh, is actually uh, it actually causes your soft rotting it is also called as soft rotting in vegetables soft rotting mostly in groundnut yes mostly in groundnut next the operation of pulsing is done for what so pulsing is a operation which is generally done in the plants pulsing operation is done normally in plants what purpose it is done is it done to increase the shelf life of flowers is it done to increase the shelf life of vegetables is it done to increase the shelf life of fruits shelf life of plantation crops or increase the shining of the fruits nikhil shirke is saying the answer is a but i want to ask tell me what does it what is the exact meaning of pulsing in the comment section nikhil madhavi tell what does pulsing means in plant when we are saying that we are going to pulse a plant what we are going to do yes nikhil brinda madhvi yes you are very right pulsing is nothing but when you try to create an insertion or maybe cut on an flower okay so in this way you increase the shelf life by keeping in sugar solution yes you cuts the flowers and you try to uh, keep it in certain solutions you even recently you can even spray it on so the answer here is to increase the shelf life of flowers that you should know clearly okay so it is done to increase the shelf life of flowers so what is done whatever flowers are there those are cut down the with the twigs so with the twigs these flowers are cut down and then after cutting after the insertion they are kept in a particular solution for their preservation quincux system accommodates how much more plants than square system of planting so if you if i plant my one plant here if i cultivate here one here one and here one so this is my square system this is my square system am i right now quincux system how much more plants it it accommodates let's try to understand someone is answering sujata is answering two times two times two times exactly it is a correct answer two times but let us see how so this is my square system when i talk about quincux system quincux system is nothing but you also plant a plant in the center so when you look at quincux system you will understand look at this square or maybe this square you will find that two plants would be always in axis so when you compare your square system with quincux quincux system you will get two plants extra okay you will get two plants extra so two times you will the planting accommodates two times more plants in the uh, from the square system okay so two times in the sense if in the square system overall if in the square system if overall you are able to plant maybe four or six pl four plants then in quincux system you can plant two times its overall plantation which we are doing in square type dash dash are a group of trees and shrubs that live in coastal intertidal zone very very easy question give me the answer
almost 1.8 times. I know the exact value is 1.8 times or maybe even 1.8 uh, times for your horticultural crops and 1.9 something times for your, uh, of course, uh, the fruit, uh, the flower crops. Okay. But when we talk about the exact number, that is two times. Okay. Yes, mangrove is the correct answer. So here you could see mangroves are those trees which are planted in the intermediate area that is coastal, that is a water body and land. Okay. So mangroves are areas in which of course land is also there and water is also there. So there here we could see mangrove plantation is there. Okay. Next. The germination percentage is onion in the case of certified seeds is how much? So germination percentage, what does germination percentage means? So suppose I plant 100 seeds, out of these 100 seeds, how much seeds will germinate? That is called a germination percentage, okay? So what is the germination percentage in case of onion when we are looking at certified seeds? CS, 90%, 99%, 85%, 80% or 70%. So yes, the answer here is 70%, not 80%. The answer given by Sujata was 80%. That's not right. It's 70%. The process of removing the green color known as chlorophyll from the skin of citrus fruit, this is achieved by introducing measured amount of ethylene gas into temperature and humidity controlled environment. This is known as what? Is it, is it known as ripening, degreening, physiological maturity, denaviling or dehusking? Dehusking is nothing but removing the husk, so eliminate dehusking. Denaviling is also not related to coloration of the plants or leaves. Physiological maturity is nothing but when flowers are formed or maybe fruit, uh, see, fruit or seed is formed on the crop. Degreening and ripening is the only option which we are left at. Now, ripening is a process in which green color converts into maybe red color, yellow color or any other color. So, when we look at banana or mango, you will see that green color gets converted into any rest of the colors. Whereas, degreening is such a situation in which we know that the process of removing the green coloring in the skin of citrus fruits. So, here green color goes off. This is achieved by application of ethylene gas. So, the answer here is degreening. Okay. It's not ripening. Okay. Ripening is actually uh, coloration of green color into some other color. Then, dash dash is non living organic matter within soil derived from microbial decomposition of plants and animals. Dash dash kya hai? Non living organic matter hai. Non living in the sense living nahi hai. Within soil, which is derived from microbial decomposition, microbial decomposition in the sense, micros de microbes jo hote hai, microorganisms, they decompose the plant and animal. Are those soil collides, lipids, polysaccharides, hummus or lignin? Hummus is the answer here and that is correct. Hummus hota kya hai? Can anybody tell? Hummus is nothing but, but, but dead organic matter. This dead organic matter is nothing but litter. Litter is nothing but dead plant remains. Sahi hai? This decomposed. Hummus. So dead organic matter is decomposed. That is your hummus. I hope you get it. The process of taking out threads from the cocoons to obtain silk fiber is called as what? Reeling, rolling, processing, extracting, stifling. Yes, highly decomposed. Yes, definitely. You are very correct. Highly decomposed. The process of taking out threads, if this is your cocoon of your silkworm, from this cocoon, if you are ripping out your silk fibers, that process of taking out the threads is called as reeling, rolling, was it is processing eliminate processing extracting also you have to eliminate so the answer can be between reeling rolling and 
you are stifling. So the answer here is reeling. So you all would be knowing what are reels. Instagram reels to sab dekhte. What about silkworms reels? So silkworm ka jo cocoon hota hai, the cocoon whatever is there. So from that you remove the threads. That is called as reeling. So reel, one one thread you try to remove and you reel it, you wind it up. Okay? So that is your reeling. Answer is reeling. Next. The part of engine where ignition and mixing of fuel and air. So ignition in the sense what? You all would be knowing ignition in the sense where combustion takes place. Okay? So ignition, spark or inflammation. Mixing of fuel plus air takes place. And gases get sufficient place to mix air by which engine can produce power. What is it called? This place, wherever this total combustion is taking place, what is it called? Crankshaft, camshaft, flywheel, rock, rocker's arm and cylinder. Yes, see. Crankshaft and camshaft, both of these, are related to your piston movement, okay? Whereas the real ignition process takes place in this cylinder, okay? Flywheel is nothing but flywheel is first time rotated in your overall IC engine. So cylinder is the part in which your overall ignition, mixing of fuel and air, and then this mix of air by which overall ignition takes place, as ignition takes place, combustion reaction, and this results into your movement of your piston. Which post harvest process is done by paddy? done in paddy before dehusking which includes partial boiling of paddy before milling in order to decrease nutritional its increase its nutritional value to change the texture of cooked rice and reduce the breakage in milling so what is it try to understand in paddy paddy in the sense in rice before removing the external husk A partial boiling is done in order to increase the nutritional value, uh, value. What is it called? Polishing, dehusking. Dehusking is nothing but removing the husk. Winnowing is nothing but removing the impurities. Pulsing key value is again not related to the term which is talking here about. Polishing is nothing but whatever the surface of the grain is there, you just finely polish it. So the answer here would be parboiling. Okay. So parboiling is nothing but your partial boiling. So, the word breakdown is partial and boiling. So, this is generally done so as to improve the quality, nutritional quality of your grains. It is also done in various fruits also as well as horticultural crops. Which institute of UN collects and maintains the data which is related to food production consumption and hunger related information in various countries? FSSA, I know it looks after standards of your food. FCI, no, it looks after the overall what warehousing that is it looks after storage so post harvest technology and storage of grains then unicef fao and apeda apeda looks after the export of agricultural products so this also gets eliminated and unicef of course international organization but not related to your food production and consumption this is generally done by food and agricultural organization fao now, one thing I'll tell you, FAO is a very, very favorite organization of NABARD and even of your IBPS. Pick out any of the NABARD's previous year papers as well as IBPS previous year papers. You will always find questions which are related to FAO. So, therefore, you should know what are the reports which are given by FAO. You should know what are the functions given by FAO. So, these things you should be very, very clear. Even in agriculture, FAO has defined various terms which are related to your cropping system, cropping patterns, agroclimatic zones, etc. etc. What is the process by which cow uh, regurgitates previously consumed feed and chews it further? That means what cow, what cow and buffalo, cattle, what they do? They eat the food. Okay, and these are called as ruminants. Ruminants in the sense what they regurgitates. They eat, they swallow, then they again bring the food back and they again chew it. That is second time chewing they do. So this 
what is it called digestion excretion absorption rumination or bloating i told you ruminant so rumination will be the answer i am so sorry i gave you the answer i didn't knew that okay so rumination would be the answers all the animals which do uh, this rumination those are called as ruminants so regurgitates what is regurgitation it is nothing but you eat a food you partially chew it and you swallow it and then you again bring it back into the mouth and again chew it and then you send it for final digestion okay so two times chewing you do old man cactus is a species of cactus native to hindalgo and veracruz in central mexico scientific name of old man cactus it's called what serus specialis ichino cactus orisem trails cephalo serus senilis and opuntia opuntia humifusa now remember one thing this news or maybe this question has come up because of a news which was there in the year of 2022 okay that was about old man cactus plant now this old man cactus plant is nothing but it is a variety of cactus which is very very famous in your patagonian desert and where is patagonian desert yes it is in the mexican area as well as in the south america so here the answer what it would be you should either know the scientific name if you don't know you can skip it you don't need to be tensed and neither you should worry so the answer here is cephalocerus senilis okay so four is the answer anybody who has given the answer nobody has given the answer and it's fine okay so you cannot answer all the questions you should have an heart of leaving or skipping certain questions the rational equation in the simplest method to determine the peak discharge from the drainage drainage basin runoff its q is equal to cia the c stands for what peak discharge runoff coefficient rain intensity inch per hour drainage area which is in acre or runoff potential now this q is nothing but of course your runoff flow that is your flow quantitative flow is it is cia it is the formula okay now what is this what could be the answer here can anybody tell most of the people are saying two runoff coefficient runoff coefficient and yes that's a correct answer c is your runoff co coefficient c is your runoff coefficient what is i and what is a yes can anybody tell if you are doing it let's do it properly madhu madhavi tell what is i and what is a this is actually a modification of your continuity equation in fluid flow continuity equation in your fluid equation in your fluid flow the continuity equation says that the quantity of the flow is determined by the area and the velocity of your water flowing but when you apply the same based on your drainage systems yes correct i is your intensity of rainfall and a is a is yes i comes when intensity of rainfall comes what is a can anybody tell yes drainage area as i already told you flow is nothing but area into velocity of the flow so area is your drainage area quantitative flow is q which has been given the same but this v whatever we are talking about this velocity is nothing but rainfall's velocity that is given by intensity here okay so this is the proper formula if anybody asks you that what is the source or what is the name of this formula generally the basic of this formula is continuity equation q is equal to a directly proportional to v a next the scientific name of grass carp is called as what tenopharyngodon idela cyprinus carpio Sirinus mrigala. No, this is for mrigal fish. So eliminate this. Okay. Labio rohita. This is for rohu. So eliminate this. Katla katla. This is for katla fish. Eliminate this. So the answer will come from Cyprinus caprio or Tenopharyng uh, Tenopharygodon idella. What will be the answer? I have made it very simple for you. The answer will be either from one or either from two. Now look at it. It how clearly I am knowing the scientific names. In this way, you should also be knowing. the answer here is as you would you would be knowing tenopharyngodon idella because cyprinus carpio what is it related to which yes that is related to your common carp yes grass carp is your tenopharyngodon idella then fin fish which contributes maximum to the global aquaculture is called as what silver carp 
कॉमन कार्प काटला रोहू और ग्रास कार्प सो विच इज दैट फिन फिश फिन फिश इन देंस विच आर हैविंग फिन डॉसल फील्ड ओके टेल फिन एनल फिन सो दिस फिन फिश आर देर दे कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट मैक्सिम टू द ग्लोबल एक्वाकल्चर सो विच फिन फिश आर हैविंग हाइएस्ट पॉप्युलेशन इन एक्वाकल्चर दिस इज वॉट दे आर आस्किंग so the answer here is grass carp okay it is neither silver carp neither common carp neither katla neither rohu okay katla and rohu are indigenous varieties in india silver carp and common carp okay not uh, these are european varieties so grass carp is the that fish which is found maximum okay not katla no 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 grass carp is the answer what is the limit of credit for fpos under priority sector lending that is psl lending in psl lending for banks what is the limit of credit for fpos for agricultural production purpose 1 crore 2 crore 5 crore 10 crore or 12.5 crores very easy questions give me the answer so psl what is this priority sector lending can anybody tell so banks there are certain sectors to which banks have to compulsory lend okay yes 5 crore is the correct 2 crore is the correct answer not 5 crore i am uh, like i apologize can we confirm is it 5 crore or 2 crore madhavi is also saying 5 crore ravi chandran is also saying 2 uh, 5 crore find it out is it 5 crore or 2 crore i can also be wrong in certain context as i told i am just a human being with a flesh and blood i can be wrong i am also similar to you i can make mistakes 5 is the correct answer okay 5 crore is the correct answer no worries i accept it because i also thought it would be 5 okay but no worries next crossing of two different pairs of alleles having different traits it's called as what so alleles we all would be knowing about let's we are moving towards biotechnology so mono hybrids di hybrids test cross back cross and top cross so when two different pair of alleles when those are crossed having different traits those would be never called as mono hybrids okay because mono hybrids are all about same pair of alleles the answer here would be sujata mangesh is saying to sujata is saying to yes everybody is giving correct answer and i am very very happy very good guys the answer here is di hybrid you are very correct so di hybrid is one where different traits are passed down as two different pairs of alleles are crossed simple now if this crossing whatever is done it is done for different different and only for observation purpose that is called as test purpose back cross is nothing but intergenerational and top cross is nothing but when desired characteristic pair is crossed with the other sir which is correct please tell us 2 crore or 5 crore i said na 5 crore is the correct answer this was by mistake 5 crore is the correct answer okay sometimes i can make mistakes okay sometimes i can make mistakes Two crore is not the answer. Right now, I like I got I checked it, so it's five crore. That's why I said you sometimes I can be wrong. It's five crore. It's not two crore. What is the ceiling of financing limit under AC ABC scheme? You all would be knowing AC ABC scheme, Agri Clinic and Agri Business Center scheme. I hope you remember this scheme. Don't don't you dare that you will say that we forgot the scheme. It is related to Agri Extension. agri clinic agri business centers this is for group project established by the group of at least 5 members trained under the scheme and what is the ceiling financial ceiling 20 lakh 100 lakh 25 lakh 50 lakh 75 lakh 100 lakh 100 lakh 100 lakh 100 lakh mangesh is saying 2 crores say i'll confirm it don't worry okay 2 crore 5 crore of this problem is there right don't worry in the comment section i will up, uh, update it it is a, uh, actually it is a scheme related question it can get updated so earlier it may be of 2 crore now it may be have been updated for 5 crore i will update it don't worry the answer here which we are talking about it would be 100 lakh okay so here answer is 100 lakh 
हु हैज गिवन द आंसर माधवी सुजाता रविचंद्रन ऑल यू गाइज आर करेक्ट रविचंद्रन ट्वेंटी लैक पर मेंबर दैट वॉज नॉट आस्ट एवरी टाइम वेन द ऑप्शन आर गिवन अपने ऑप्शन मत दो खुद के रविचंद्रन डू नॉट गिव युअर ओन ऑप्शन इन युअर ऑप्शन इज देर एनी वेर अबाउट मेंबर्स इट हैज बीन रिटर्न नो दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट टोटल नंबर इज इट सेवेंटी फाइव द सीलिंग सेवेंटी फाइव लैक इज इट हंड्रेड लैक इज इट ट्वेंटी लैक सो डोंट टेल द एंसर पर मेंबर एंड ऑल दोज थिंग्स द एंसर इज हंड्रेड लैक ड्यूरिंग रेनी एंड विंटर सीजन हाउ सोइंग ऑफ मेज इज डन अफकोर्स इट इज डन बाय रिजिस एंड फोरोज विच वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन सो इन युअर ओवरऑल फील्ड दिस आर युअर रिजिस एंड दिस आर युअर फोरोज so through the furrows we try to apply your irrigational water okay so these were all the questions which we have collected from the year of 2022 okay and here's where we have ended this particular session so thank you very much we will end this class and uh, about the 2 crore and 5 crore clarity i will let you know yes because ravichandran was saying that this sir 2 crore i have to confirm that answer so let me just confirm it let me see i would have written it somewhere yes it's 5 crore it's 5 crore 5 crore is the correct answer 5 cr okay so we'll end the class here it was nice meeting you all and share this session with as much as candidates you can okay tomorrow we will come up with next previous year question and which year is that yes it is 22 has been done kaun se kaun se saal humne complete kiye the year 2022 done the year 2021 done the year 2020 done so in next class we will start with 2019 previous year question is it okay So thank you very much see you next time